Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to take up another very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we have to evaluate expression x square plus 3x whole power 10 plus x square plus 3x plus 2 whole power 10. If known equation is x times x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 equal to 1. So let's get started by writing required expression is e. Now we will write our known equation x times x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. This is equal to 1. From this equation, I can easily write x cannot be equal to 0. Once we will plug in 0, we will get LHS 0, RHS 1. So x cannot be 0. If I will plug in x equal to minus 1, LHS will be 0, RHS is 1. Similarly, x cannot be minus 2, x cannot be minus 3. Now we will divide our equation by x, x plus 3 both sides. Let's divide. Here also we will write x times x plus 3 in the denominator. Now we will cancel x with x, x plus 3 with x plus 3. So I can write here x plus 1 times x plus 2 equal to 1 over. We will multiply x with x, x square plus 3x. Let's multiply LHS also. We will get x square plus x times 2 is 2x, 1 times x is x, 2x plus x is 3x, 1 times 2 is 2. So x square plus 3x plus 2 will be equal to 1 over x square plus 3x. This value we are going to plug in here. So I can write our required expression would be, we will write required expression e would be x square plus 3x whole power 10 plus 1 over x square plus 3x whole power 10. This is our required expression so far. Now we will write our equation x times x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 equal to 1. Now we will club these two terms all together and we will multiply these two brackets all together. So I can write x times x plus 3 times x plus 1 times x plus 2 equal to 1. Let's multiply these two brackets and these two brackets all together. So we will write x square plus 3x times x square plus 3x plus 2 which we have already done equal to 1. Now I will assume x square plus 3x equal to a. So I can write a here also. This would be also a. So we will write a times a plus 2 equal to 1. Now our required expression would be if x square plus 3x is a, then we will put a here also. And we will put 1 over a here. So our required expression is a power 10 plus 1 over a power 10. And known equation is a times a plus 2 equal to 1. Let me write here a times a plus 2 equal to 1. And target expression if I will write here a power 10 plus 1 over a power 10. 
Now I will multiply a with a plus 2. We can write here a square plus 2a equal to 1. Now a cannot be equal to 0. We can divide both sides by a. So equation will come out a plus 2 equal to 1 over a. a cannot be 0. Or I can write a minus 1 over a equal to negative 2. Now our required expression is here. So I will consider a squaring and cubing of this equation. So if I will square both sides, I will get a square plus 1 over a square minus 2 times a times 1 over a. So a and denominator a will be cancelled out. We will write only minus 2 equal to minus 2 square is 4. Now I will add 2 to both sides to collect the value of a square plus 1 over a square. This will be equal to 4 plus 2, 6. a square plus 1 over a square is 6. Now we will cube both sides. So I will write here a minus 1 over a whole cube equal to minus 2 whole cube. So I can write here a cube minus 1 over a cube minus 3 times a times 1 over a that will be cancelled out only minus 3 would be there times a minus 1 over a which we can write minus 2 and minus 2 cube is minus 8. So from here I can write a cube minus 1 over a cube plus 6 equal to minus 8. So a cube minus 1 over a cube value we will write minus 8 minus 6. So minus 14. So we have now two important equations. First one is a square plus 1 over a square 6 and second one is a cube minus 1 over a cube equal to minus 14 and our target is to find out a power 10 plus 1 over a power 10. Now I will use a power 5 minus 1 over a power 5 formula directly which is equal to a square plus 1 over a square times a cube minus 1 over a cube minus a minus 1 over a. We can check our formula also by multiplying term by term. If we will multiply a square with a cube, we will get a power 5. If we will multiply 1 over a square with minus 1 over a cube, we will get minus 1 over a power 5. Now cross product term will give us a minus 1 over a which we have to take away or eliminate. That's why minus of a minus 1 over a is here. Now we have to plug in all the values to get the value of a power 5 minus 1 over a power 5. Let's put the values. a square plus 1 over a square. This was 6. a cube minus 1 over a cube. This was minus 14. And a minus 1 over a was minus 2. So I can write here 6 times 14, 84 with minus sign. Minus times minus becomes plus 2. So we can write value would be minus 82. This is the value of a power 5 minus 1 over a power 5. And our target expression is a power 10 plus 1 over a power 10. So I need to consider squaring both sides. I will write here a power 5 
माइनस वन ओवर ए पार फाइव इक्वल टू माइनस एट्टी टू नो वी विल स्क्वायर बोथ साइड होल स्क्वायर नो वी विल अप्लाई ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर फॉर्मूला लेट्स अप्लाई विल राइट ए पार फाइव होल स्क्वायर प्लस वन ओवर ए पार फाइव होल स्क्वायर दिस इज ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी टर्म सो माइनस टू टाइम्स ए पार फाइव टाइम्स वन ओवर ए पार फाइव आर एच एस वुड बी माइनस स्क्वायर इज प्लस एंड एट्टी टू स्क्वायर इज सिक्स सेवन टू फोर नाउ वी कैन कैंसल ए पार फाइव विथ डिनोमिनेटर ए पार फाइव एंड हेयर वी विल यूज वन एक्सपोनेंट लॉ ए पार बी होल पार सी दिस इज इक्वल टू ए पार बी टाइम सी सो वी आर गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू पार हेयर एंड दीज टू पार हेयर ऑल्सो सो आई कैन राइट ए पार टेन प्लस वन ओवर ए पार टेन माइनस टू इक्वल टू सिक्स सेवन टू फोर now we have to add 2 to both sides to get our answer because this is our required expression e we will write e equal to 6724 plus 2 so our final answer becomes e equal to 6726 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye